Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel, it's Chelsea, and today we are doing my lipstick declutter. So it's all down here, but I figured we could shoot from a different frame today. So I am going to be hopefully decluttering some lipsticks today. Don't really know how successful that's going to be as in the last declutters I have done. Um, and I'll link all of those other ones that I've done down below if you want to check them out. But before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. If this is your first time here, I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel and join the Glam Girl Squad. And if you are a returning subscriber, well, thank you so much for deciding to come back and support my channel with all of your likes and your comments. They all truly do mean a lot to me. So let's get into this video. So my outfit of the day is a pair of pajamas. I am lounging it today. I will go ahead and just stick a picture up of the pajamas that I'm wearing and link them down below. But they are from Target. I love them. They are the most comfortable pajamas I have ever worn. And I don't even know how many pairs of them I have now because it's just too much. But that's what I'm wearing today. So now into the declutter. Okay, so let's start off with my lip liner. So this is actually not a lip liner. It's the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. And this one, I can't even remember see the shade name anymore. I'm so sorry. But these are actually really nice. Um, so you can twist up the crayon. And when I first got it, it had a nice pointed tip. So I could use it almost like a lip liner and a lipstick, but it left more of like a matte formula on the lips, but it was really comfortable. And I had a few of these, I actually have one more of these. Oh, I forgot the shade is at the top of the cap. So this is in the shade Treat Yourself. And then I have this orange one in the shade Laugh Louder. And like I said, I, I really did like these and I wore them a lot in the summer. I wanna say like a couple years ago. But I'm gonna declutter them because I haven't picked them up in a good year. Here's a lip liner from Lisa Eldridge. Um, I purchased this with the lip kit, the Velvet Muse one. Really enjoy the formula of these lip liners. So here is the color of the lip liner. And I am looking forward to when she hopefully sells these as individual lip liners so that I can purchase more. Right now you have to purchase the lipstick, lip gloss, and then you'll get the lip liner in a kit together to get the lip liners. This NYX suede matte lip liner, this is in the shade Pink Plus, and y'all do not sleep on the NYX suede lip liners. It has to say suede. They're really, really nice and comfortable on the lips. I have a couple of them. So like I said, this is in Pink Plus. My favorite brown lip liner, or I should say one of them, is Cold Brew, the shade right here. It is the perfect brown lip liner for all of my neutral lipsticks and also my pinky nudes oh it's just beautiful so definitely keeping these this lip liner is from the lip bar and it's in the shade straight lovin and this one's okay it's not my favorite um the formula is okay the shade doesn't really show up on me as deep as i thought it would based on the cap and the ending of the lip pencil color so i'm going to declutter this one um, it's got good ingredients in it, like aloe vera and jojoba oil, but I don't know. It's just, it didn't, it, it, I, I really haven't reached for it since I purchased it. I received this lip liner from Becca. It's in the shade Pouty, and the formula of this one is really nice. However, the color doesn't really show up on me too well. It's fairly light, um, and so I'm going to declutter it. I don't really reach for it either. Here is a lip liner by Wayne Goss. It's the essential lip liner in the shade Sepia. Really like this one for my cooler toned types of lipstick colors. Um, I think this one is really pretty, so I'm gonna keep this one. And the Pillow Talk lip liner by Charlotte Tilbury, I thoroughly enjoy. I really enjoy Charlotte Tilbury's lip liners, and I like the creaminess of the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. They remind me of the Lisa Eldridge ones a lot which I, I enjoy. And then here's a mini lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade um, Walk of No Shame. Gorgeous. So these lip liners came in a set from KKW and I can only find this set at Ulta. Um, I picked this up during Black Friday, so it is still currently available, um, but I can't find it anywhere else except for Ulta and I can't even find it online, it's in store. So this set, it was $29. All of these shades actually do show up on me really well, even though based on the color of the ending of the lip liners, it doesn't look like they would show up well, they actually do. And I'll link the video um, that I created this week where I swatch all of them, 
but I really do like them so far in terms of like their creaminess and how they feel on the lips. So I'm keeping those. So those are all my lip liners. I don't have a lot, but we got way more lipsticks. All right, starting with Pixie. So a couple summers ago, I bought a good amount of these Pixie by Petro liquid lipsticks. I actually had more and I gave a couple to my sister. Um, but I have them in the shades. This one is Berry Beauty right here. This one is beige, matte beige, and I love this color. It's such a really pretty um, neutral nude. Nope, it's pinky nude. Why am I shocked? <laughs> I love pinky nudes, by the way. Let's just get that out there. Um, but I love that one. This one is pretty as pink. I love me a hot like a hot pink type of lip color, especially for the summertime. And this shade is called Pleasing Pink. So these were on sale for half off, which is why I got a lot of them. And of the shades that I have here, I'm gonna keep these two and declutter these two. These shades are okay, but I don't reach for them nearly as much as I do these two. So I'll keep these. Then I have my Fenty Beauty Lip Stunner Paints, and I have them in the shades. This is Underdog, of course, Uncensored, and then this one is, oh, what's the shade? I forgot this one. But really enjoy the formula of these liquid lipsticks. Like I mentioned before in my, vid in, in my videos, with these, I cannot wear a lip balm underneath of them or these will bleed all over my lips. I also can't put a lip gloss light over top of these or they will bleed all over my lips. So they're really, they're really pretty and I enjoy the formula because it's more matte, but they don't totally dry down. But I gotta be careful because they're a little finicky and they will get everywhere. Kosas was so kind to send me a couple of their lipsticks. So this is the shade Dark Room right here. Really pretty burgundy shade and this neutral shade called Undone. And I definitely wear Undone more than I wear Dark Room. Dark Room I would wear more so like now in the fall winter time but this one's really pretty to wear all year round. Their formula is really nice. Um, nice and comfortable, satin tight formula, and it's got a magnetic closure, so keeping these. I forgot about this one. Another Pixie Liquid Lipstick in Caliente Coral. I'm gonna declutter this one because I don't wear that shade at all. I got this Pillow Talk Deluxe Sample when I ordered some products from Charlotte Tilbury, and I enjoy this color. This is one of the satin type lip stick formulas and um, really, really pretty. So definitely keeping this one. And I like the packaging, this is so pretty. Y'all, I have to talk about both of these together. Okay, so a little sneak peek, if this were to ever happen. <laughs> if I had to create a lipstick for myself, this combination right here would be one of the shades I'd wear all the time. So this is the Burt's Bees Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Peony Puddle. I don't even know if they sell this anymore, y'all. But I take these two. So this is the Maybelline um, lipstick in Baddest Beige. And then I combine them together. Is this not the prettiest pinky knee combination? I know it is. I know it is. <laughs> and if it's not, just, just indulge me for a moment. This combination right here is one of my favorite combinations of lipsticks to wear. And for that reason, I am keeping these. That is beige by itself is too light for my comfort to wear on its own. I mean, I could, it's just not my favorite on my lips. I mean, I can wear it with a lip liner. Um, Peony Puddle by itself is okay. I don't love it as much, but these two together, perfect harmony. So they're, they're keepers. This is a MAC lipstick in the shade High Fructis. This is a limited edition color. And this is um, a cool toned pink. Very nice, but I don't really wear it. So I'm gonna declutter it. It's really pretty though, but I'm gonna declutter it. Emma wears this more than I do <laughs> around the house. Maybe I should keep it for her. I, you know what? I'm gonna keep it for her because she actually likes to play in this lipstick, but technically I'm decluttering it, but I'm keeping it for her. Here is a liquid lipstick from Nettie Burke. So they had a contest back in the summer, I wanna say, um, where you could name their liquid lipsticks. And I 
chose one of the names. I, I gave them a name that they actually use, and now I can't even remember the name of this one. I'll link it, I'll put it on the screen. But um, this is the shade of the liquid lipstick. And what's kind of cute about this one is that they include the corresponding lip liner with it. And the formula of both of these is really nice. So I'm gonna keep this one. Um, they ended up sending this, this to me for free since I gave them the name that they chose for this one. So I'm gonna keep this one. Here's a mini uh, Pat McGrath lipstick. And this is one of the Sheer Color Balms in Flesh 3. And um, this one is pretty. I like the color of it, but my biggest gripe with the mini Pat McGrath lipsticks is that the bullets are so sensitive and they tend to break. So I got a trio of these and both of the other colors broke off. I'm going to declutter this one because I don't use it at all for that reason of I don't want the bullet to break. Since we're talking about Pat McGrath, let's just finish her up. I have these mini lipsticks. So this came in a trio. This one is Flesh 3, the actual lipstick color. And um, I actually do use the actual lipstick color more than I did the lip balm. So that's what the actual lipstick color looks like. Really, really pretty. Love the Pat McGrath lipstick formula, especially the um, matte formula. This is, this is Omi, is she not gorgeous? Um, and then this one is 1995. I, I really like these trio of lipsticks right here. So I'm keeping these. Then I picked up a mini in Elsin. Look at that, it's Emma's fault. Such a pretty red, <laughs> one of my favorite reds. Um, so keeping that. Here is La Beja. Oh, y'all, why did Pat McGrath discontinue this? So I heard that she discontinued basically all of her Lux Trans formula. Correct me if I'm wrong, um, but La Beja is now discontinued. I'm so mad. This is also, like, look at these two right here. They, are they not the same color? Almost the same color, y'all. Different formula, the same color. And I told you if I created a lipstick, it would be in the shade. La Beja, I love for the exact same reason because they are basically the same type of pinky nude that I just cannot. I just cannot. I love La Beja. It is, I have, I have to film my top 10 favorite nude lipsticks. I did my top 10 favorite red lipsticks. I created that video back in the summer. I gotta do my top 10 favorite nude lipsticks. Well, you all kind of know one of them already <laughs> um this is guinevere this is a matte lipstick she's gorgeous Ugh. now i'm swatching all of them i said i wasn't gonna do that here is sextrology this is a lux trance one so this shade is now discontinued as well but it's so pretty oh, pat maybe she'll bring the actual shades back in a matte trance formula and if she does have these shades in matte trance y'all let me know i don't think she does but if she does, I want to know because I will definitely pick up La Beja in a matte formula. This is Forbidden. Gorgeous, gorgeous red as well. So there's Elson and Forbidden. You can see the slight differences. Elson is a deeper red compared to Forbidden. But love all of my Pat McGrath lipsticks. They are a keeper. And I'm sorry I keep bumping into the camera, y'all. Star Girl, Charlotte Tilbury. I picked up this lipstick. It was a duo that I picked up, ooh, three years ago. It's been a hot minute since I picked this up. But this is Blushing Dream. Really enjoy this pinky nude type of shade. I'm keeping all of my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, so I'm just basically showing you what I have. Then I have Walk of No Shame. Looks beautiful with a Walk of No Shame lip liner. Here is the other lipstick that I picked up with this one. Ooh. It was um, during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, so I got this duo of Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. This one, I used it so much that the, I don't even know what shade this is anymore, um, but I really enjoy it. It's really, really pretty. Here is Mrs. Kisses. Look how cute this is with the actual little kisses on it. But I really enjoy this shade. Purchased this one. I don't remember when I got this one. I wanna say it was this year. And then um, my newest Charlotte Tilbury lipstick is Stoned Rose. I recently got this with my Black Friday shopping and it says it's a rose type of color but it looks more terracotta on my lips either way i like it um but the charlotte tilbury lipstick formula it's just very comfortable and creamy on the lips even the matte formula and i love them um i would have to say charlotte tilbury's 
probably one of my favorite lipstick brands as well. Here's a mini in Very Victoria. I got this when I ordered um, some products from her website and I enjoy the shade a lot. It's a very uh, taupey type of color, but very, very pretty. So when I run out of this one, I'm gonna purchase the normal size of that particular shade. I have this one um, lipstick, the shade 201. Really like this velvet type of lipstick formula. It's so, so pretty. So I wanna get more, um, but I really enjoy the shade. Oh, I forgot, I did have one more by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Glowing Gin lipstick. I enjoy this one, it's really pretty. It's got the cute little kiss embossing on it. Forgot about this one. It's because the packaging was different. Okay, Too Faced. This came in their Gingerbread Man collection, I wanna say last year. And this is a pretty, um, very much terracotta type of shade. I don't reach for it. It does smell good. I was just, I just sniffed it. <sighs> Do I wanna keep this? I don't know. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. I don't reach for it, so I should declutter it, right? All right, I'm gonna declutter it. Declutter it, because I don't reach for it. Okay, Wet n Wild, this is Bear It All. Y'all, I have loved this shade of what, of this uh, matte lipstick for Wet n Wild mm, for a minimum of four years. And when I first bought this shade like four years ago, their formula was so dry, but I really love the shade. They've recently um, switched up their formula to where their mattes are not nearly as crusty dry as they used to be. They sent me all 13 of their matte shades um, and all 13 of their satin shades that they reformulated. And I got rid of all of the other ones except for these two. So I'm gonna keep this one. The cheapest lip lipstick that I own, but the color is divine and I probably have other colors like this but this one is like very sentimental to me because I remember this is one of the first lipsticks that I purchased that I actually really enjoyed the color and like I've repurchased Bear It All so many times over the years so I gotta keep that one while I'm here this one look, look at Emma that is Emma all day long so I'm gonna throw this one away I don't even use this one at all but that's, that's all Emma. Then I have this one by Tom Ford. So I purchased this one. This is in the shade 07 Nubile. It's one of the satin formula um, lipsticks from Tom Ford. I got this from the cosmetic company outlet store. So the, so the Estee Lauder outlet store. So I don't know if this particular shade is even currently being sold. It might be discontinued, but really enjoy this formula and this shade. Um, my Gucci lipstick, so I have two. This one is in the shade The Painted Veil. Such a pretty shade right here. And, oh, that kind of reminds me of Very Victoria. Look at that, kind of similar. Um, but this velvety formula is just everything. So completely keep keeping these. And this one is in Agatha Orange. I kept seeing this all around social media this summer. And, um... I had to get it. So yeah, this is one that I definitely wear more so spring and summer. I have a few by MAC. So we've got this one in Russian Red. I love me a good red lipstick, so I'm keeping that. Then I have this one in Speed Dial. I've had this one for so long. And I wanna keep it because I've had it for so long, but I'm gonna declutter it because I've had it for so long. Here's Velvet Teddy, a classic. Definitely keeping this one. Um, just a beautiful, Pinky nude. So keeping that one. Um, lickable, I've had this one for years, so I'm gonna declutter it. But really enjoy the shade. Here's another one. Yeah, this is a mini one. I bought this whole set from Ulta of mini lipsticks from MAC three or so years ago. It was like a holiday edition release. And so they had Velvet Teddy in there. So I'm gonna declutter this one since I have the larger size of it. And the larger size is newer. Than this one is okay lisa eldridge i recently did a video showing you all the lipsticks that i purchased from her sale recently so i'll link the video where i go into you know swatches and all of that but just to show you what shades i have this is velvet muse love it the formula is like it's more velvety than the gucci ones and if you've had if, if you felt the gucci ones then like take it to the next level of like velvetiness Ooh. 
amazing. Here is Velvet Affair. Oh, love it. Can you see like the velvet texture of this? Probably not, but you can see it, I think, in the video that I did. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Velvet Dragon, can't wait to wear this. I haven't worn it yet out in public. And then um, Velvet Blush, gorgeous. I need more of them. And then here is Elisa Eldridge Lip Gloss. So creamy and beautiful. This is in the shade Mousse. So this was the gloss that I got in the lip kit with the Velvet Mousse lipstick, lip liner, and then gloss. Then we have a couple from ColourPop. Oh my gosh, I did not even realize I still had these. So I'm decluttering these. I don't reach for them, but they were really nice. Let me just say, the ColourPop formula is nice. It really is. So I would recommend the formula. You just want like a nice creamy formula. I would say ColourPop's pretty good. So this is in the shade You're Thriving. I don't, I don't, I don't even know if this shade is actually still available because it came out with a collection. And this is LA Lady. Both of them are really nice, but I, I haven't reached for them since shortly after I got them. So I'm decluttering those. Here is a liquid lipstick from the lip bar. And this is in the shade First Lady. And this is a really pretty, it's like a hybrid between a lip gloss and a lipstick, if you will. Um, here's the shade. I'm noticing that a lot of my lipsticks are all in the same family. Don't judge me, guys. I just know what I like. Um, definitely keeping this one. This is this I like to wear on top of other lipsticks to give a nice gloss shine that's not overly glossy. Then my House of Siage lipsticks, y'all. I have so many that they sent me and I'm so grateful that they've been kind enough to send me them all. 13 lipsticks that I got from House of Siage. And like I said, I'm very grateful that they sent them to me. I gave one of my lipsticks and one of my bow lipstick cases to my mom because she really liked them. And I was like, of course, it's my mom. Um, so this is their Disney at times House of Siage lipstick bow case, stunning. So the lipstick that I have in here is the lipstick that they released for this collection called Magical. A really, really pretty red lipstick, like true red type of lipstick. So I, I just keep it in here because, you know, it was the lipstick created for this lipstick though. This one is empty because this is the lipstick that I gave my mom and she just ended up keeping it in the lipstick bouquet. So I'll just throw that away. Then I have um, Prince. So this is Prince such a pretty color and i've done lipstick swatches of these a lot of them have been on instagram so i'll link my instagram videos below um where i'm swatching some of these lipsticks this is a baron love the shade right here and here we have royal seduction which is like it's a really pretty red as well here's royal highness i love this nude color right here why do i love it because it's a pinky nude this, this is so sad and predictable i'm over myself with all of this <laughs> and then these last seven i have not swatched them yet on my channel or on instagram it is um a project that i want to do this week when i say a project i just want to get the video out they sent over their seven new nude lipstick shades so um definitely stay tuned for that soon this one is in the shade exotic rosewood and i have put them all on my lips just to see how they look y'all these shades are pretty they're so pretty i like every shade on my lips this one is peachfully speaking there's that one we have nude siren right here and what i really like about the shades that they came out with is i really feel like they tried to create a shade for that would really span any complexion so that no one is left out here is tender tone and there's all types of neutrals as well pinky neutrals nude neutrals um like brown neutrals that they, they did excellent in my opinion golden hour the bombshell nude Secu secura 
So, like I said, stay tuned for my swatch video coming out on these very soon. The other ones that I've swatched, I'll link those videos down below so you can reference and see how they look on my skin. Okay, Natasha Denona, she sent me these two lipsticks. This is in the shade Maria. Remember I couldn't find Maria in one of my other videos? Yeah. Love this one. You all seem to like this one on me as well. Um, especially when I pair it with the Pillow Talk lip liner. She's a beaut. So I'm keeping this. The formula is really pretty for these lipsticks as well. And then this is the shade Andrea. I like Maria over Andrea simply because I like more pinky nudes and I feel like Andrea is a little more neutral in the nude color. But nonetheless, I like both of them. I just pair them with the lip liner and we're good to go. So these two lipsticks um, that I'm about to show you are from Becca. I ordered these from Octoly. And so this one is in the shade Nectar. Really, really pretty coral shade. So I usually wear this one in the summer. So I'll keep this one. And then this one is a pinky nude in the shade Dusk. It came with that uh, lip liner that I showed you all earlier. I like the lipstick shade much more than I like the lip liner shade. So I'm gonna keep this one as well. Kosas was so kind to send me their wet lip oil. This is in the shade Dip. And this is nice, but I think I'm gonna declutter it simply because the formula is a little more thin than I would like for it to be. And I know it's a lip oil, um, but I'm beginning to think maybe I don't like lip oils because I like something a little thicker and hydrating on my lips. The color though is really, really nice. And if you like lip oil formulas, like that thinner type of formula, then I would suggest these because it is really nice. I just like more, I like more of, just something a little more thick on my lips. So I'm gonna declutter this one. Oh, I have one more House of Siage lip product. This is one of their lip balms that they sent me. This is in the shade um, Diamond Balm. And I actually keep this one in my purse because I love how hydrating it is. When I was talking about that, it, re it reminded me of this one. So this one stays in my purse. It is so hydrating to the lips. And it doesn't obviously have a color to it, but this is one that goes in my purse. So I'm putting it over here right here, y'all can see it over here. Put it over here because it's gonna go back in my purse. Oh, here's another one from House of Sea, I forgot. Um, Queen, Queen, beautiful red, keeping that one. So these two beauties are from Chantecai. They were so kind and sent them to me. This is Coral Bell. And this is like a, uh, kind of like a, um, what's the, what would you call it? Like a uh, satin lipstick, not satin lipstick, sheer lipstick, there we go, sheer lipstick. And this is really, really pretty. A color that I wore more so in the summer. And this one is in Passion Flower. Another beautiful shade um, that I think is perfect for like the summer. These are shades I like to wear in the summer. Also from Chantecai, I recently received from them their new lip stylos. And these are um, lip crayons that they released for their holiday collection. So I did recently do a video where I swatched all of these, so I'll link that video for you. But the but I like the actual lip crayon formula and I also like the shape of them. It's a crayon, but I like that, oops, I like that even when I'm using it, the tip doesn't dull so much that I still can't use the lip crayon to like carve out and line my lips and then fill them in. Really creamy and soft, and I, I really have been enjoying this. This red shade right here is beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. And um, another shade that I really like is Meadow, what is it? Meadow Sweet. This is a really, really pretty nude color. So yeah, really enjoying these. So I am keeping all four of them. Okay, Armani, Armani Lipstick. This shade right here is stunning. This is 506. I purchased this lipstick shade. She's gorgeous. So, so pretty. Love it. And I like the formula of this uh, matte lipstick as well. It's creamy, but it's not overly drying and matched the lips. Um, then Armani sent me this shade. This is shade 401. And this is their liquid lipstick formula. Oh, this orangey red is fire. So pretty. Love it. Two of these shades are the same. So I got, um, I placed an order for um, one of the Tom Ford eye quads and it came with Casablanca. And then I got Casablanca as a freebie for another order. So I have two of these minis in the shade Casablanca 
and the shades are really pretty. This is like a, um, this is one of their satin formulas. So I'll keep both because I like both. And I do like that these mini lipsticks, the, <laughs> the bullets are more firm. So they don't, I don't feel like they're going to break easily. This red shade is in the shade Scarlet. So Casablanca and Scarlet, this one right here, came with the eyeshadow. It was one of the deals for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. If it's still available, I'll link it down below. Let's, oh, I forgot I had this mini lipstick from uh, from Kosas. I got this as like a Sephora. You know how if you place an order for like $25 or more, you can put a code in and get a lipstick. So I got this one from Kosas. This is in the shade Rosewater. And um, I like this shade too. It, it reminds me of the other Kosas shade in, I forgot. What's the shade? Undone. They look kind of similar to me. Kind of similar. Let's see how similar they are. So this is Undone. And then this is Rosewater. I mean, so they're not identical, but they are close in family. Hmm. Do I want to keep this one? I'll declutter this one. They're close enough to where I can just keep one. Alrighty, then I have one of my favorite lip balms. This is the Milani Rose Butter. And obviously I have loved it. This stays in my vanity. I put it on every day, either before I do my makeup or before I go to bed at night. This is so great. So I will definitely repurchase this when I run out, which will be very soon. Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. This is in the original um, shade. I have repurchased this so many times, I can't even tell y'all. This is one of my favorite lip glosses. Not nearly as much of a favorite as it used to be, but still a favorite. And I think I have one of these in my car. So definitely keeping that. Wayne Goss. I love all of his lipsticks. I have seven of them. Um, so I'll quickly go through the shades that I have, but I've done a video on these, so I'll just link that video down below. So we have Lotus right here. Love the shade. This is Amaryllis. Okay, so this is one of my favorite shades, like of all the ones that I have that I have from him. Magnolia. Love it. I purchased five of these, and then one of my friends gave me the rest of them. Zania, right here. Amaryllis and Dahlia are by far my two favorite shades. Dahlia, I would say, would be my favorite lipstick shade from Wayne Goss, hands down. Just, let me, let me go ahead and swatch it for you. Cause she's just so pretty. And is she not a pinky nude? Yes, she is. There she is. And I love her. And this one is Carnation. Really pretty as well. And then this last one is Orchid really gorgeous so love all of the Wayne Goss lipsticks highly recommend the lipstick formula if you're looking at them here are two Wayne Goss uh, lip glosses I have a third one in the car and I just did not feel like going downstairs to get it and sorry my kids are so daggone loud I'm so sorry they've been doing the most this one is in the shade antique rose and when I saw this in his demo video I was like oh I have to have it it's a really pretty gloss however I don't really enjoy like the texture of it too much it's a little too glittery for me so i don't wear this shade as much as i thought i would but i still do like it i just don't wear it as much it's just a little too glittery for me but i am going to keep it however though petunia i really enjoy it's that smooth lip gloss formula um and the shade is really gorgeous so i really really like that one and then I have chrysanthemum. That's That one is in my car. And I like chrysanthemum as well. It looks like it's glittery, but it's not. So I really enjoy that. And I think chrysanthemum looks very similar to the Fenty Original Gloss Balm, which is why I got it. <laughs> these are the Chantecaille Lip Crystals. I've talked about these so much. I'm not even going to bore y'all to death. But I will link the video where I do lip swatches and all of that on these. That was in the shade Carnelian. Rose Quartz is my favorite love this one right here and then the last one is rubelite or rubelite she's gorgeous as well so highly recommend these lip crystals these three lipsticks are from minton i got them um it was like a holiday edition like kit so these are this is shade minton number five and they do sell all of these shades separately so you can um purchase them separately if you want these shades are really really 
unique in color. Like I, I don't even know how to describe that because it's brown, but then I see like, like a mauvey purple in it. It's really, really pretty and unique. Um, this one is in the shade Nude La La. And I'll swatch that here. This is gorgeous. Oh, they're so creamy. Minty Cosmetics is definitely a brand that I think a lot of us sleep on, myself included. And every time I do get something from them, I'm like, why do I not share Minted more? So they're, they are gonna be a brand that I personally want to explore more next year. And then this shade right here is Dope Taupe, which is my favorite out of the three shades. So like I said, these three shades are still available on the website. There are staple shades in their um, lineup. Lila B sent me their lip oils. Now their lip oils, I like a lot. So this one right here is in the shade Be Elegant. It is my favorite shade like of all three that I have. I keep this one in my purse. It looks beautiful on the lips just by itself. So that's why I keep it on my lips. It hydrates my lips so well. And I haven't talked about these on my channel a lot, but I love these lip oils. So this one and Be Elegant, I'm putting it over here because it's going back in my purse. This is in the shade um, Be Remarkable and really pretty shade as well. Put that right here. Like I said, the formula is thicker to me than the Kosas one, which is why I like it more. And this is in the shade Be Bold. And I'll swatch that one right here. So really, really beautiful formula. These are the three lip oil shades from them. And I, I think the formula is just divine. Okay, we're almost done. I really picked up some shades from um, Propa Beauty. So I, I literally just got all five of these in the mail today. So be expecting a video soon. So this is Her Magic. I'm not gonna swatch them because I like to take pictures of my lipsticks before I use them. And I have Believe It. Oh, that looks so pretty. Victress. Gorgeous. Profits. That looks pretty as well. Focused. Ooh, that looks pretty. I cannot wait to try these. So, very excited about those. I have these three from Kaleidos. Or is it Kaleidos? I always say Kaleidos, but I think it's actually pronounced Kaleidos. So, I'm sorry for saying it incorrectly. Um, they sent me all three of these lip products. So, this is their lip tonic in the shade Injection. And this shade is actually really, really pretty. Oh, let's just give it a little swatch right there. There we go. This is a pretty shade right there. These two Lucid lip uh, lipsticks. This is in Dramatize right here. And they do have like glitter particles in these Lucid lip formulas. And this one is Fantasize. So I don't wear these lipsticks primarily because the formula is just not a formula that I do like. So I am, so there's that first one I swatched it in these two. I am gonna declutter these because they're not lipsticks that I personally reach for. They were sent to me from the brand. Very thankful that they sent them to me, but they were, they're were they not formula-wise lipsticks that I like or lip glosses that I like, I should say. So I'm gonna declutter those. And then lastly, my YSL lipsticks, which I'm keeping all of them. So I got this trio. Um, during the Sephora VIB sale, they were selling them in a kit. And if they're still available, I will link it down below. Um, this is shade nine. Love this shade. It stays in my purse. As you can see, I beat it all the way up. So this is going to go back to the side. Um, it's a really beautiful, let's put it right here. Everyday, like nude shade for me. And I like the satin formula. Um, so she's going to the side because she's going back in my purse. This one and all of these, these three gold ones are all satin formulas. This is shade 83, really, really pretty. And I did do a video where I swatched all of them. So I'll link that video as well. And this is shade 12. Oh, this is so, so pretty. I'm gonna love this one for the summer. And I did request this one from Octoly and they sent it to me. This is shade five. Um, this is one of their, what is this, the, the Volupte Shine lipsticks. Um, and this middle star has like a hydrating, kind of like balmy-like component. Um, and it's really pretty. It It's more of a mm. sheer lipstick, 
but it actually shows it pretty nicely on the lip on your lips like in terms of having some color to it so i do like the formula of this so i'm going to keep it and guys that is it i didn't i, I decluttered a few lipsticks i'm i actually decluttered more than i thought i would so i'm happy with this declutter <laughs> Um, but let me know down below what some of your favorite lipsticks are that you love, that you definitely don't want to declutter. Um, because, you know, I know there's tons more lipsticks out there that I personally would like to try. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this declutter. And I really hope to see you, yes you, in my very next video. Bye guys.